So we talked about growth hormone deficiency. We talked about uh, growth hormone uh, uh, therapy in children with idiopathic short stature who do not have a growth hormone deficiency but who are still small. There are other reasons where we use growth hormone. One is called SGA, small for gestational age babies. These are children who are born small. They might be called as intrauterine growth retardation or children who are born small, SGA, which is small for gestational age, which basically means they are small as compared to what they should be for the number of weeks they have been in mommy's tummy. Okay, so these children typically catch up growth by two years of age. So if they do not catch up growth by two years of age, or if they don't reach the bottom line of all the growth charts, remember in the past, I've showed you uh, growth charts. So they have to at least be in the bottom line of the growth chart by the end of two years. So if they are not in the bottom line of the growth chart and they are born small, these are children who are eligible for growth hormone therapy. And they can have a higher risk for growth hormone resistance and uh, insulin resistance. So we might have to do a higher dose of growth hormone. They have a higher chance of early puberty. So these are things you might want to discuss with your primary care physician. The other reasons why we use growth hormone are certain syndromes. One is called Turner syndrome. Turner syndrome is a girl child who is small and who has an X missing in her chromosome or part of her cell line, they have an X missing. So they're called Turner syndrome complete uh, or Turner syndrome mosaic. Either of these conditions will be eligible for use of growth hormone. Again, we use a higher amount of growth hormone in these children because they are growth hormone resistant and not growth hormone deficient. They also have needs to be followed up by genetics, cardiology, and if need be, kidney specialist. The next condition is called as Noonan syndrome. Noonan syndrome, again, is a condition where there's a DNA alteration and these children can present with small stature, they can have delayed puberty, as well as heart diseases. So they need to be followed up by the cardiologist as well. There's another syndrome called as prader willi syndrome. These are children who are born small and who are failing to thrive when they are young, so they don't eat very well. And by about four years, five years, they start eating a lot and start gaining a lot of weight. These children are very hypotonic or their muscle tone is really low. They also have developmental delay. And these children have a higher risk for type two diabetes and needing testosterone, which is the male hormone replacement or estrogen, which is the female hormone replacement when they reach puberty. These are children who are eligible for growth hormone as long as they don't have sleep apnea. So if they have sleep apnea, it's a contraindication for use of growth hormone. Growth hormone can also be used in children who have had pituitary um, uh, removed or a radiation therapy for their brain where the pituitary gland is lost or children who have chronic renal failure or children who have shocks, S-H-O-X, shocks gene deletion. These are all rare reasons why growth hormone is used. Thank you very much.